This process will work if you have this type of alternator that mounts with these two. All right, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. If you've got an alternator that mounts like this with these two bolts on the bottom of it, and it looks like this on the top right-hand side of your engine, LS 5.3 or 6.0, for the either the Chevy Silverado 2018, 2011 Suburban, it works on both of them. Um, real quick to do this, make sure that you have your uh, alternator properly diagnosed and you know that you actually need an alternator. So start by loosening your battery terminal, negative side, get it loose, and then twist it like that, lift it off, push it, push it back behind there so it won't touch. Your battery cable disconnected, you can lift this up and out of the way so it's not in your way. Next, you're going to want to uh, remove the belt from here. Try not to get it off of any of the other pulleys, because if you do, and you don't know how it goes back, you'll have a problem. But so, it's real simple. Start by taking, you'll have a pulley tensioner right here. So then if you have a 15 millimeter ratchet on it and you push clockwise on it, it loosens it, you see? You get it loose and then you pop the belt off of the alternator. Only the alternator though. So you just loosen that and then kind of set it to the side over here. Like that. As best as you can. Then you're gonna to want to loosen this and this this will pull right out. So your alternator should have a plug like this, two or three wires, and then this I believe is 13 millimeter. Yeah, 13 millimeter. Probably need to use two hands. Yep, two hands work. Don't lose your nut. Once you get the cable off, put your nut back on there, set the cable to the side, and then these two are 15 millimeter. Now these two go all the way to the back over here, so you want to loosen it all the way to the point of where it's going to be about, about that far out. Then once they're about that far out, you can pull them out, set them somewhere that they don't get lost. And get you something like a pry bar, and you go under the under it right there, and kind of lift it out. Same thing with the other side. Very carefully. Or you can go wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Again, I need two hands. So I actually used one hand holding this up and then I pried it with the pry bar to get this out. And then it, it'll lift right out. So there's your alternator. There's actually nothing wrong with this one. I just made this to show you guys how quick and easy it was to do it. So when you put it back in, or your new alternator goes in, you gotta line these holes up. Kinda like so. And then kind of pop it down where it gets close to being in place. And then once you get it, in the right spot your bolts will go back in they kind of mess with it wiggling a little bit back and forth to get them to line up perfectly and once you think you got it and start twisting these screws in and if it starts grabbing well you know you're there so like i'm there with it take the ratchet 15 millimeter tighten it down
and you want to get these ones nice and tight about as tight as you can with one hand and a short little ratchet like this that's good next you'll put your battery the alternator cable back on the post not back on it Tighten it down with your, with your 13 millimeter. And you don't want to over tighten it, you just want to get it nice and snug. Use two hands to hold this from twisting all the way around the, the back over there. Alright, once that's snug, it shouldn't move like that. Take your plug, plug it back in. And your belt should, shouldn't fall off anywhere else. But as you're putting it back on, make sure that all the grooves are lined up with all the ones on the belt. And make sure that this one is, you know, right, gonna line up right there. You gotta use your 15 millimeter to push it down at the same time while with your other hand lifting the belt onto the pulley. Okay, and once you got it on, you wanna make sure the pulley's kinda straight. So if you can see, you can see right here, this one's not very straight. So I'm gonna push this down. To, to straighten that out and I'm gonna look at all the grooves on all my pulleys so there's this one over here I want to make sure that they're all centered and that they all line up now if your belt happens to come off the other pulleys and you need to figure out how to fix that just google your in, your vehicle make engine serpentine belt diagram and then you can go to images and you'll get all the different possibilities that it could usually be but it's uh usually this one any of these they're all about the same and mine in particular has the ac compressor like the one on the left and on the right has the ac compressor on the bottom left hand side and it has a separate little belt on it so uh, that's it right there there now that's much better yep, we're done with that uh that's pretty much all there is to it pop this back into place and then lastly, put your negative cable back on, like that, and then don't forget to tighten it down. And this is usually 10 millimeters. Sometimes different terminals will have 5 16 or 8 millimeter. All right, and you're ready to start up. Double check your pulleys to make sure that they all line up. In a straight line you can look at it like that or you can just inspect it this one down here gets is easy to come off so just make sure that everything's lined up before you crank the engine then you come over here and just double check that it's all turning good looks good to me now keep in mind also sometimes your battery voltage which is usually this one right here sometimes it'll go down and it'll look like it's not charging it'll go you know about halfway between that that quarter mark and the halfway mark and that's perfectly normal so don't change your alternator just because that's you know down a little bit if you don't know how to diagnose your alternator I'll probably make a video about that one of these days Anyways, hope you liked it. Thanks.